In this video, we'll show how to replace a PowerStore node. Before you begin, make sure that you have read all safety precautions on handling replaceable units, such as using electrostatic discharge wristbands or gloves. For more information, refer to the PowerStore installation and service guide. First, we need to determine which node has faulted. To do this, log into the PowerStore Manager and click Hardware. Under Appliances, click the appliance that contains the faulted component. On the details page for the appliance, click the hardware card, and then click the rear view tab. Use the left navigation pane to drill down and locate the faulted component. You can also hover over and click the component highlighted in the rear view enclosure image on screen. At this point, Power down the node. The power down procedure depends on whether the component is in a PowerStore T model appliance or a PowerStore X model appliance. Refer to the PowerStore Power Down and Reboot Procedures Guide for more information on powering down the node. Now, wait until all LEDs are off to make sure that the node is fully powered off. This can take up to three minutes. Once the node has been powered down, release the cable retention bale and pull out the power cord. Then, disconnect the network and all other cables from the back of the I.O. modules and network ports on the node. Next, pull the orange release trigger while gently pushing in on the node to disengage the locking mechanism and slide out the release tab. Pull the release tab outward enough to grasp the side with both hands and pull the node fully out of the enclosure. Now, remove the top cover from the node so you can access the internal components. Push down on the blue release button and slide the top cover back until it stops moving. Then, remove the top cover and set it aside. Transfer the following components from the faulted node to the corresponding locations in the replacement node. Power supply and cooling module, the I.O. module and fillers, embedded module without removing the four-port card, DIMMs and internal M.2 boot module adapter, without removing the M.2 boot module from the adapter. Internal fans. and internal backup battery module. Refer to the replacement videos for each of these components or installation service guide for more information. You are now ready to install the replacement node. Put the top cover back on the replacement node, align the top cover with the slots on the side of the node, then pull the top cover forward to secure it in place. With the cover back on, slide the node into the enclosure until it stops moving. Pull the black release tab out, then slide the rest of the node back into the chassis. As you push the node back into the enclosure, the black release tab slides into the system. When the node is flush with the system, pull the orange release trigger and gently push it in to lock the system into place. If the black release tab comes out when pulled, the system is not locked into place. Reconnect all the back end cables you removed earlier and then reconnect the power cord and wait for the node to reboot. At this point, power the node back on. The power procedure depends on whether the component is in a PowerStore T model appliance or a PowerStore X model appliance. Refer to the PowerStore Power Down and Reboot Procedures Guide for more information on powering up the node. Finally, we need to verify the replacement. In PowerStore Manager, go to the hardware card for the appliance. The status of the replacement component should now appear as healthy. If the status still appears as faulted, wait a few minutes and refresh the PowerStore Manager screen. If the status does not change, ensure that the component is correctly seated, or call your service provider. You've just replaced a faulted node. For detailed instructions on replacing this or other components, refer to the PowerStore documentation at 
dell.com forward slash PowerStoreDocs.